What is up, everybody? JT Dangerously here once again. I am back to do my Week 8 NFL predictions. Now, Week 7 just ended tonight on Monday Night Football with the New Orleans Saints defeating my Seattle Seahawks. So Week 7 is in the books, and we're now into Week 8 of the NFL season. So I'm very excited to do my Week 8 predictions for you guys, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Now, our record in Week 7 was good. We went 8-5, and five, so we're coming in hot, and I'm looking to keep it that way. So hoping this video, we will continue the winning ways. We're on a four-week winning streak. Hoping this video... We may get five weeks in a row, hopefully. Now, if you guys haven't checked out my massive Week 9 college football predictions video yet, definitely go check it out if you haven't because this is the second video of the day and the final video in the month of October on the channel. So hope you guys are able to watch this video and all the fantastic videos we put up on the channel in the month of October this year. And as always, show your support on the channel as always, guys, by watching these videos, super kicking those like buttons, hitting that notification bell, and commenting your picks, your opinions, and representing your NFL teams in the comment sections down below. Now, this is your first time watching my channel today, guys. As a first-time viewer, this is your first video. Boy, you picked to go in if you're a huge fan of the NFL like myself and you're ready for week eight of the NFL season. Welcome to the Dangerous Alliance. I'm JT Dangerously. Welcome to the club because this club is... Two. Woo, woo, again, thank you guys so very much. Now, other than that, let's get right into my week eight NFL predictions. Let's start off first with the buys. Now, if you do own a fantasy football team like myself and you have players that are on buys, make sure you have suitable replacements for them. Now, the buys in week eight this week are for the Las Vegas Raiders and the Baltimore Ravens. So if you have any players on any of those two squads, make sure you have suitable replacements for them so you'll be ready for your next fantasy football matchup. Let's start off on Thursday Night Football. Maybe the best Thursday Night Football game this week. It is a huge NFC showdown between the Green Bay Packers heading to Glendale to face the undefeated Arizona Cardinals. Now the Packers are coming off their victory on Sunday over the Washington football team and the Packers are looking to continue the winning ways with a victory on the road on Thursday Night Football. There is idea of the undefeated Cardinals coming off another victory on Sunday, defeating the Houston Texans. And boy, when you think red hot, you think of the Arizona Cardinals in the NFC, the only undefeated team left in the NFL this year. And the Cardinals are looking to continue the winning ways and get it done at home and remain undefeated. So coming from me in this huge NFC showdown on Thursday Night Football, maybe the best Thursday night game this year. This one's going to be an absolute banger. You got Rodgers versus Murray. This one's going to be good, and I can feel it being high scoring. So this one's going to be absolutely amazing. But coming from me, I may get this one wrong, but I am going to go with Kyler Murray, D-Hops, and the undefeated Arizona Cardinals to get it done at home and remain undefeated and defeat the Green Bay Packers on Thursday Night Football in an absolute banger. And now the Sunday slate, which starts at 10 a.m. here on the West Coast, 1 p.m. on the East Coast. Starting off with an NFC South rivalry showdown between the Carolina Panthers heading to the Georgia Dome to face the Dirty Birds, the Atlanta Falcons. Now the Panthers are coming off another loss on Sunday, losing to the New York Giants on the road. And the Carolina Panthers are struggling right now. And I still don't see Christian McCaffrey on the field, so he still must be hurt. But I know my good friend Showstopper TV, who is a die-hard Carolina Panthers fan, is hoping his Panthers can rebound and bounce back on the road and get back to 500. There is the idea of the Atlanta Falcons coming off their road victory over a last-second field goal over the Miami Dolphins on Sunday. And the Falcons are looking to continue the winning ways and get above 500 with a victory at home. So coming from me in this NFC South rivalry showdown. Ah, man. Uh, Sam Darnold versus Matt Ryan. This one should be good. But coming from me, I'm going to go with my good friend Showstopper TV and the Carolina Panthers to finally get back on track and get a victory on the road to get back to 500 and defeat the Atlanta Falcons in a close one. And now the next matchup it is an AFC East rivalry showdown between the Miami Dolphins heading to Orchard Park to face the Buffalo Bills. Now the Dolphins are coming off a heartbreaking loss at home on Sunday, losing by a field goal to the Atlanta Falcons after being down most of that game. They came back and fell short by that field goal. And I got to say it, the Miami Dolphins have hit rock bottom. For a team that was so close to making the playoffs last year, they're 1-6 this year, and I've been hearing a lot of rumors of Deshaun Watson maybe being traded from Houston to Miami, and I know my good friend Joseph Collin on the Big Fight Field channel, who is a diehard Miami Dolphins fan, is actually hoping that happens because he's getting he thinks two a time is done in Miami. It's just not working out, and if that rumor continues to swirl, we may see Deshaun Watson being uh, being the quarterback for the Dolphins for the time uh, for the foreseeable future. But the Dolphins are desperately looking to rebound and bounce back on the road and get it done over their AFC East rivals. There is idea of the Buffalo Bills coming off their bye week after losing on Monday Night Football to the Tennessee Titans after that very controversial fourth and one play where Josh Allen slipped and cost the Bills the game. But the Bills are coming off their bye looking to get a victory at home. So coming from me in this AFC 
East Rivalry Showdown. Oh, boy. This one could be good. I mean, Josh Allen versus Tua Tonga Vailoa for right now. If that, that Deshaun Watson rumor continues to swirl. But coming for me, I am going to go with Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills to get it done at home and defeat the Miami Dolphins in a potential blowout. And now next matchup, it is an NFC showdown between the San Francisco 49ers heading to Soldier Field to face the Chicago Bears. Now the 49ers are coming off their loss on Sunday Night Football at home, losing to the Indianapolis Colts. And I'm just going to say this right now. I think Trey Lance should be starting for the San Francisco 49ers for the rest of the season. I think he, has, he gives the 49ers a little bit of a chance to win more than Jimmy G money, as much as I love Jimmy Garoppolo. I think Trey Lance, they drafted him for a reason, so let's see what he's got. But the 49ers are looking to rebound and bounce back on the road. There is how you have the Chicago Bears coming off their destruction by the reigning Super Bowl champs, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, where the Bears only put up three points of offense. And it was maybe Justin Fields' worst game as a starter for, uh, starter for the Chicago Bears in the NFL. I mean, he had fumbles, he had picks. And, and the side of it, Matt Nagy's got COVID, so he may not be coaching in this game. And maybe that's a blessing in disguise that he got it, because anything is better than Nagy's coaching. And, and I know my good friend, Gamers Goon, who is a diehard Chicago Bears fan, is hoping his Bears can rebound and bounce back at home and get back to 500. So coming from me in this NFC showdown, hopefully 49er fans would agree with me. Trey Lance is the right answer for the starting quarterback role for the Niners against Justin Fields. This one should be good, but coming from me, I'm going to go with Gamers Goon and the Bears to rebound and bounce back at home and get back to 500 and defeat the San Francisco 49ers. Bear fucking down. And now next matchup, it is an AFC North rivalry showdown between two teams that hate each other's guts. The Pittsburgh Steelers heading to the dog pound to face the Cleveland Browns. Now the, uh, the Steelers are coming off their bye week. They're coming in at 3-3 three and three, and the Steelers are coming off a bye looking to get a victory on the road against their hated rivals in the AFC North. There is a of the Cleveland Browns coming off their victory on Thursday Night Football over the Denver Broncos. And it was Case Keenum that got the win for the Browns, not Baker Mayfield. So... Whoever the quarterback is for the Browns in this game is really going to tell me who's going to win. Because if it's Baker Mayfield, it gives the Browns a chance. If it's Case Keenum, it's pretty 50-50. But the Browns are looking to continue winning ways and get a victory at home. So coming from me in this AFC North rivalry showdown between two teams that hate each other's guts. If it's Case Keenum, the Browns' chances of winning are like 50-50. If Baker comes back, it gives them a much better chance. But coming from me, I am going to go with Big Ben, Juju, and the Pittsburgh Steelers to get it done on the road and defeat the Cleveland Browns in a close shootout. And now next matchup. It is an NFC showdown between the Philadelphia Eagles heading to Ford Field to face the winless Detroit Lions. Now the Eagles are coming off their loss on Sunday to the Las Vegas Raiders, and the Eagles are looking desperately to rebound and bounce back on the road. There is how you have the winless Detroit Lions coming off another loss on Sunday. What else is new with the Detroit Lions, folks? They continue to lose this season, getting blown out by the Los Angeles Rams. And I bet you Jared Goff is kicking himself in his own ass to saying that he wanted to go to Detroit because he didn't realize what Matthew Stafford had to go through for years in Detroit, losing season after losing season after losing season. But the Detroit Lions are desperately looking for their first victory of the season, and they're looking to get it done at home. So coming from me in this NFC showdown... Will the Detroit Lions get their first victory of the season this week? I don't think so, but it will be very close. It could be another heartbreaker for the Lions. But coming from me, I'm going to go with Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles to rebound and bounce back on the road and defeat the winless Detroit Lions. And now next matchup. It is an AFC South rivalry showdown between the Red Hot Tennessee Titans heading to Lucas Oil Stadium to face the Tennessee Titans. Now the Red Hot Titans are coming off another big victory in the AFC, defeating the Kansas City Chiefs on Sunday. And who would have thought the Tennessee Titans beat the Buffalo Bills on Monday Night Football last week, and now they have beaten the reigning AFC champions, the Kansas City Chiefs, this past week. That's pretty impressive. And with the, when it comes to hot teams in the AFC, it's the Tennessee Titans and the Cincinnati Bengals. And the Titans are looking to continue winning ways and re looking to remain hot. There is the idea of the Indianapolis Colts coming off their victory on the road on Sunday Night Football, defeating the San Francisco 49ers. Carson Wentz had a big game. The defense definitely stepped up in that rainy weather. And the Colts are looking to continue winning ways with a victory at home against their AFC South rivals and get back to 500. So coming from me in this AFC South rivalry showdown... This one could be good. Carson Wentz versus Ryan Tannehill. Derrick Henry versus Jonathan Taylor. This one's going to be really good. But coming from me, I'm going to go with the Red Hot Tennessee Titans to remain hot and get it done on the road and defeat the Indianapolis Colts. 
And now next matchup between the red-hot Cincinnati Bengals heading to East Rutherford to face the New York Jets. Now the Cincinnati Bengals are coming off a huge statement win on Sunday, defeating the Baltimore Ravens. And who would have thought? We're in week 8 of the NFL season, and the Cincinnati Bengals are in first place in the AFC North. And Joe Burrow had a game. He had 416 yards passing, three touchdowns. Joe Mixon had a big game on the ground. And their wide receiver, I cannot, I can't get it, I can't get the name out of my head right now, but that kid is going to be a talent in the NFL, and I think he will win. Uh, offensive player of the year for the Bengals but the Bengals are looking to stay hot and they're looking to get it done on the road there's any of the New York Jets coming off their loss on Sunday on the road losing to my New England Patriots and giving up 52 points and the Jets are just horrible this year but that's not a surprise to anybody folks the Jets are horrible even if they got Zach Wilson he got hurt in that game the Jets are not a good football team they used to be a good football team but they're just not a good football team this season the next season after that or the season after that but the Jets are desperately looking to rebound and bounce back at home and get their second victory of the season. So coming from me in this AFC showdown, <laughs> I'm going with Joe Burrow, Joe Mixon, and the Red Hot Cincinnati Bengals. They get it done on the road and defeat the New York Jets in a blowout. And now next matchup, it is the Los Angeles Rams heading to Houston to face the Houston Texans. Now the Rams are coming off their big victory at home over the Detroit Lions on Sunday. And boy, Matthew Stafford is having a career year in Los Angeles after leaving Detroit. And the Rams are looking to continue the winning ways with a victory on the road. There is idea of the Houston Texans coming off another loss on Sunday. What else is new with this Texans team? This team just does not want to win anymore. And they're really the worst team in Houston sports right now. I mean, the Astros are in the World Series going to play the Braves tomorrow. We got the Houston Cougars having a great year in the American Athletic Conference. You got the Houston Rockets starting the season. You got the uh, Dallas Stars looking to have a great season. But just the Houston Texans are just not the best team in Houston right now. And the Texans are desperately looking for their second victory of the season. They're looking to get it done at home. So coming from me in this matchup, <laughs> I'm going with Matthew Stafford and the Los Angeles Rams to get it done on the road and defeat the Houston Texans in a potential blowout. And now next matchup, it is an AFC showdown between my New England Patriots heading to Los Angeles to face the Los Angeles Chargers. Now my Patriots are coming off their big home victory on Sunday, defeating the New York Jets. Mac Jones had a monster game with 307 yards passing, two touchdowns. We had 52 points of offense in that game, and we finally saw some trick plays from... Uh, Bill Belichick, and that's something straight out of Tricky Nick Saban's book out of Alabama. And Mac Jones really showed off that he can get it done as the starting quarterback for our Patriots. And my Patriots are looking to get it, continue the winning ways and get a victory on the road and get back to 500 because this team can definitely get to the playoffs this year. There's idea of the Los Angeles Chargers coming off their bye week. They're coming in at 4-2, and two, and the Chargers are looking to come off a bye with a victory at home. So coming from me in this AFC showdown... This one's going to be good. Mac Jones versus Justin Herbert. This one's going to be really good. Bama versus Oregon. But coming from me, I am going to go with Mac Jones and my New England Patriots to get it done on the road and get back to 500 and defeat the Los Angeles Chargers in a close offensive shootout. And now next matchup. It is the Jacksonville Jaguars heading to Century Link to face my Seattle Seahawks. Now, the Jags are coming off their bye week. They're coming in at 1-5, and five, and the Jags are looking to come off a bye with a big victory on the road. There is idea of the Seattle Seahawks coming off their loss tonight on Monday Night Football to the New Orleans Saints, and I'm just going to say it right now. Geno Smith has got to fucking go, and we need Russell Wilson back as soon as possible. Sure, he did have a he did have a great game tonight, but he still took the L, and that's not good. That's not good, especially from a Seattle Seahawks fan that stuck with Russell and has been with Russell Wilson for a while, and he's been he's been stuck with them. But Geno Smith is not a good starting quarterback. He's a good backup quarterback, but a starting quarterback. Not in this lifetime, folks, but the My Seahawks are desperately looking to rebound and bounce back at home and get there and get back to 500. So coming from me in this matchup, I pray to God Geno Smith is benched after, after that game on Monday and we start our third stringer because I feel like the third stringer would be better than Geno Smith at this point. So coming from me, I am going to go with Geno Smith, unfortunately, and my Seattle Seahawks to get it done and rebound and bounce back at home and get back to 500 and defeat the Jacksonville Jaguars, hopefully. 
And now next matchup, it is the Washington football team heading to Mile High to face the Denver Broncos. Now the Washington football team is coming off the loss on Sunday to the Green Bay Packers and the football team is looking to rebound and bounce back on the road. There is idea of the Denver Broncos coming off their loss on Thursday Night Football to the Cleveland Browns and the Broncos are looking to rebound and bounce back at home and get back to 500. So coming from me in this matchup... This one should be good. Taylor Heineke versus Teddy Bridgewater. But coming from me, I'm going to go with Teddy Bridgewater, Melvin Gordon, and the Denver Broncos to rebound and bounce back at home and get back to 500 and defeat the Washington football team. And now the next matchup. It is another huge showdown in week number eight of the NFL season, and it's coming out of the NFC South between the reigning Super Bowl champions, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, heading to the Superdome to face the New Orleans Saints. Now the reigning champs, the Bucs, coming off their blowout victory over the Chicago Bears on Sunday. Tom Brady once again went off because he is the greatest of all time, folks, the greatest quarterback to play, and the Buccaneers are looking to continue winning ways with another victory on the road. There is idea of the New Orleans Saints coming off their victory tonight on the road, defeating my Seattle Seahawks. Jameis Winston had a big game, and the Saints are looking to continue winning ways by knocking off the reigning Super Bowl champs. So coming from me in this massive NFC South rivalry showdown, one of the other big games in week number eight of the NFL season, Brady versus Winston. This one's going to be good, but coming from me, Brady is playing like he wants to win another NFL MVP this year. So coming from me, I am going to go with Brady and the Bucks to get it done on the road and defeat the New Orleans Saints. And now the Sunday night matchup. It is an NFC showdown between the Dallas Cowboys heading to Minneapolis to face the Minnesota Vikings. Now the Cowboys are coming off their bye week. They're coming in at 5-1. and one, And I got to just say it. Where has this Cowboys defense been, Cowboys fans? Because if you guys keep playing like you guys are playing this season, you guys are going to be a huge threat to make it to the playoffs this year. And they're going to win the NFC East right now. I'll just say it right now. I think the Cowboys are winning the NFC East. I'll even guarantee it. But the Cowboys are looking to come off a bye with a big victory on the road on Sunday Night Football. There is idea of the Minnesota Vikings coming off their bye week. They're coming in at 3-3. Three and three, And the Vikings are looking to come off a bye with a victory at home on Sunday night. So coming from me in this NFC showdown on Sunday Night Football, I am going to go with Dak, Zeke, and the Dallas Cowboys to get it done on the road and defeat the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday Night Football. And now the Monday night matchup that will go against Monday night Raw is Snore between the New York Giants heading to Arrowhead to face the Kansas City Chiefs. Now the Giants are coming off a big victory on Sunday at home, defeating the Carolina Panthers on Sunday. Daniel Jones had a big game, and the Giants are looking to continue the winning ways with a victory on the road on Monday night football against the reigning AFC champions. There is idea of the Kansas City Chiefs coming off their surprising, shocking loss to the Tennessee Titans on Sunday, and I gotta say it, the Chiefs are in trouble. I do not, they continue to have this kind of year, they're not going and make it back to the Super Bowl. And we're going to have a new AFC champion when we get to the AFC championship game in January. And Patrick Mahomes is having maybe his worst year. I mean, he has more picks this year than he did last year. And the Chiefs are desperately looking to rebound and bounce back at home and get back to 500. Desperately. So coming from me in this showdown on Monday Night Football... Daniel Jones versus Patrick Mahomes. This one should be good, but coming from me, I just cannot see the Chiefs continue to lose like this. So I am going to go with Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs to rebound and bounce back at home and get back to 500 and defeat the New York Giants on Monday Night Football. And those are my Week 8 NFL predictions. I want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Comment below, who do you see winning in Week Number 8 of the NFL season? Do you see any upsets happening? And let me know, who is your top teams in the AFC right now making the playoffs? And who is your top teams in the NFC making the playoffs? And as always, represent your NFL teams in the comment section. Even if they're having a rough year, like the New York Jets, like the Detroit Lions, still represent them with your picks and your opinions. Let's have a conversation about them. Of course, I'm always on to see your comment. Like it and of course, reply right back to you because comments and your opinions are absolutely always welcome on this channel. Now, I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching all of the videos that I put up on the channel in the month of October this year. This was a fantastic month on the channel. Thanks to you guys. I'm truly blessed to have each and every one of you part of this Dangerous Alliance, this family, and we're going into a huge month in the month of November on the channel. I mean, we got Thanksgiving coming up. We got my 32nd birthday, which is on November 26th this year on a Black Friday. We got big prediction videos on the channel for November when it comes to power struggle for New Japan Pro Wrestling. We got Full Gear 3 predictions with Hangman Adam Page looking to become the AEW champion against Kenny By God Omega. We got Best of Super Juniors 28 predictions to do. We got World Tag League predictions to do. And we got our usual college football and NFL predictions. So again, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching all the videos, showing your support on every video I put up in the month of October this month. And hopefully what you guys did in October will continue into the month of November going into 2022. Now before you guys go, as always, you guys can never forget to do this. 
that like button, comment, share with your friends, of course, super kick that like button like only you guys can. Of course, you guys can never forget to do this as well. That subscribe button become part of this bigger and dangerous. Dangerous Alliance, we're officially on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, guys, what are you guys waiting for, folks? If you're a fan of professional wrestling when it comes to New Japan Pro Wrestling, All Elite Wrestling, and Ring of Honor Wrestling, and you're a fan of professional sports when it comes to the NBA, the NHL, Major League Baseball, the college football, college basketball, super kick that subscribe button, folks. It's free, and you become part of this bigger, dangerous alliance. And I will see you guys on the first Monday of November for my massive, and I mean massive, week 10 college football predictions, my official New Japan Pro Wrestling's Power Struggle 2021 predictions, Zack Sabre Jr. Shingo 2, Okada Tamatanga 2, and Tanahashi Kenta 5, and my week 9 NFL predictions. Later days, guys. Have a wonderful rest of the month. Happy Halloween to each and every one of you guys. If you do celebrate it, later days and peace.